Hey there folks, this is David on David's Brain. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Critical Mode for the PS4. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you're to my Patreon. Links in the description at the bottom. Last time we finally managed to beat the Pain of Panic Cup. And well, let's see, cleared out the way to, uh, to the Pride Lands, which is personally one of my favorite worlds in this game. You'll see why in just a bit. And now we're in Halloween Town, basically cleaning up Jack's mess. And yeah, Maleficent's resurrected Oogie Boogie, and now he's uh, going on a rampage. So, let's go and put the old bug bag back in the ground. Let's see, any other items here? New, new, new. Let you stone energy jump. Okie doke. <laughs> you and I have a score to settle, Jack. Same goes for your little sidekicks. What are you planning to do with Sandy Claus? Who? Sandy Claus? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and why is this roly-poly red guy here? Time to go, Grandpa! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Santa Claus! <laughs> Why you... Yes, yeah, so it would appear that Oogie is the most dangerous type of idiot. Uh, is the worst kind of idiot. A very dangerous idiot. And he's got a whole <laughs> lot of bad toys. Oh, 
believe yeah good thing I saved last time Oof. nice view from up here that's right away you go yeah boogie himself isn't all that much of a problem it's just the part of the found out there well, those are well, those are the real problem that's right away you go more horrifying when you realize that that's <sighs> him literally spilling his guts out, right? 
All right, Christmas is safe again. Perfect. I'd better get down to business. Ah. Oh, boy. Me Santa, Santa. Yup, you ought to stick to Halloween and spooky stuff. Dad. Stick to what you're good at, that's all. Here, it's done. Wonderful! Why, I love it! Thank you, Sally. Jack, do you really have to do this? But I make a splendid Santa Claus. Uh, listen here, Jack Skellington. You saved me in Christmas as well, and for that I'm very grateful. But please promise you won't cause any more trouble. No problem. And about that suit. Don't even think about taking over for me again. I just thought you could use a little help this year, Mr. Claus. You must be exhausted from all the preparations. And I wouldn't mind a second chance to get this Christmas thing right. <sighs> yes, being Santa Claus can be tiring. But let me tell you something, Jack. Seeing the happy faces of little children when they discover the presents I've brought them makes it all worthwhile, year after year after year. And you, Jack, you love to make them gasp and see them shiver with fright. What if someone tried to take all of that away from you? Well... Um... We both have very important jobs to do, Jack. Mine is to take care of Christmas, and yours is to take care of Halloween. So we each have to do the very best we can. After all, you're the face of Halloween, Mr. Jack Skellington. The Pumpkin King, the Knight of Nightmares. And even though you're fascinated with Christmas, Jack, Halloween is your true specialty. Don't you see? Children rely on both of us to do our jobs. Halloween needs your attention, and I know Christmas needs mine. Urgently. You're right. I am the master of terror. And if Halloween has become too routine, all I have to do is think of something new that'll really make them scream. Jack! Oh, Jack! Did you already have that prepared, or did you just rhyme that many times by accident? I've been looking for you everywhere! We must go over the plans for next Halloween. I can't do a thing without your approval. So true. Good luck, Jack Skellington. Well, there he goes. Yes, and I've got lots of names to check and preparations to finish. Ooh. Oh! Jack, this is no time for joking. What's this? Perhaps a bit too festive for our Halloween needs. We better get going. Before you do, Sora, I believe there's a friend of yours who, if I recall correctly, was the one who told you there's no such thing as Santa Claus. Well, oh, gee. yeah. He did say that. Of course he did. Be sure to give him my very best wishes. I will, but... Do you know where I can find Riku? No, but don't give up. Remember, if you believe in Riku, you will find him, just as you found me. Right. Well, maybe a direction to go in would probably help. I mean, belief's nice and all that, but, uh, yeah, just like a hint or something like that, or... Ah, magnet. Oh no. Yeah, that only me. Uh oh no, no. Ugh. 
and Jack Skellington. He loves to scare people silly, but when Jack discovered Christmas, he was captivated. He even thought he could improve it by adding his own special brand of fright. Jack wanted to deliver presents to the children of the world for Santa. Santa helped him realize that his talents were truly meant for Halloween, but Jack still has the Santa suit Sally made for him. Let's see here. Uh, the Skateboard Workshop Rave. Just gonna give that a little looky loo. Yeah, I nearly forgot about those. One more chance, and one more. Once more. Sorry. Yeah, when dealing with large enemy groups, that's definitely going to come in handy. Oh, right. Let's see, daylight. Hmm. Let's just try and find it. Alright, here's the skateboard challenge. Perform tricks that go for the highest score before time runs out. Get 500 points to get a trophy. So, here we go.
Yeah, I tried doing this by myself back in Hollow Bastion, and oh boy, it was a nightmare of the grinding and all that stuff. Pro Skater! Yeah, sure it might have been cheap, but that uh, but that achievement is just a you know what? I I don't even feel bad. <laughs> Never felt bad about that. Alright, let's see what the uh, challenge is anyway. Finish with a thousand more? Okay, yeah. And, oh no. Yeah, now I have magnet magic. It's time to head on off to Atlantica. Although, now that I have once more, I'm going to try and give Zexion another try. Heroes Crust, air, air Combo Boost. Alright. I'm ready for you this time, Zexion. Refuse to lose to this dark. The Book of Shadows. Oh god, he, uh, yeah, not only is it uh, take forever to beat, but he gives me a recipe to an absolutely god awful sequel. Spiteful little twerp. Mm, damage control.
And there he is. Zexion. Formerly Organization 13's number 6. He's been eliminated. Zexion disliked dirty in his own hands and relied on his wits to dispose of any rivals. Uh, but it was one of his own schemes that wound up destroying him. A good riddance. Yeah, he was tough, but... Whew. I may have to do it. I beat him. Yippee. I'll give, uh... Alright, I'll try giving another shot at being number four. <laughs> or at least working at number four's game. I really just don't want to go to, uh, Atlantica again. Why am I gonna have to? Tranquility Crystal. Mm. The shield with a little strength. Okie dokie. Alright, complete with a score of 85 or more. Eighty-seven. Just barely managed to beat him. And yeah, if I could, if I could completely beat him at level ninety-nine, then I'll get some really good stuff. Driveboard never helped. I never hurt. Yeah. And what am I saying? Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Yeah, it's definitely no way for me to get tapped right now. Alright, off to the Timeless River to go and take a look at the more Lucia part, um, about more Lucia's Mushroom Heartless. And then, yeah, I'll, I'll finally get to Atlantica. Where we really don't want to. Counts down to zero. Staff, plain mushroom plus. Oh, I got it complete within 19 seconds. Oh, let's see. 2106. Uh, Marluxia's, uh, number 11. A poor heartless is always being chased by a mysterious number. Attacking will reduce the number. Transport the number to zero as quickly as possible. Shadow Archive. Manifest Illusion, a Lost Illusion, a Lost Illusion, and Manifest Illusion. Victory Bell and oh, it just uh, funnels all your uh, uh, all of Donald's uh, specialty into magic. Okay. All right. Well, can't put it off any longer. Let's just get this over with. Statue. Yeah, let's do this. Oh boy, this is definitely not going to be pretty. Yeah, because YouTube's definitely going to be all over me for this one. Great. <sighs> Ariel! We'd like you to come with us, Ariel! 
Have we got something to show you? Oh. It's a pretty cool statue, huh? It looks like some kind of prince. A prince? All right, a musical challenge. Score five or more excellence in a row. Uh, let's see. Oh boy. Yeah, this one I'm gonna have to be. Uh, all right, yep. I'm gonna get them all in a row. Yay me! Woo! <laughs> Look at this stuff. Let's see here. Isn't it neat? There's one. Wouldn't you think <laughs> my <laughs> collection's <laughs> complete? <laughs> sure you Wouldn't you think I'm the girl? <laughs> the girl who okay. has oh, 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 everything. Oh, 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 Look at this trove, treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? Looking around, here you think. Sure, she's got everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got who's it and what's it's galore. You want thingamabobs? I got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. Good, good, good. Wanna see I'm them dancing, dance. walking I'm around on the do walls? What do you call them? Oh, oh, feet. Feet. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they, run, up where they stay all day in the sun. Wandering free, wish I could be part of Okay, it's a Disney classic, but again, it's because it's a Disney classic, I had to go and talk over it because, yeah, you two don't take kindly to that kind of logic. <sighs> Ariel, we're here to help you, you know? Oh no, you three stay out of it! Look who's talking. Yeah, you are gonna tell your dad about it. What am I going to do? Oh, well, he's just trying to do his job. Cut him some slack. You're late, Sebastian. Is something wrong? Oh, no. Nothing, Your Majesty. <laughs> That's good. So tell me. How is the song for the musical coming? It is finished, Your Majesty. And it celebrates all the wonderful things found here in the ocean. It will be my finest work. Well, by, by whose standards? Will it get Ariel's mind off the human world? Uh, yes. Well, probably. Possibly. Uh, I mean, uh, most definitely. <laughs> Excuse me, Your Majesty, but I must rehearse. You understand. This is terrible. We gotta do something. Well, she can't be in the musical like that. I'll sing her part instead. No! No way. Not a chance. Why not? Hey, it's the question. How is there paper underwater? This will never work. What's up? I composed a perfect song for the musical, but I think it's gonna be too complicated for you. Oh, come on. How hard can it be? Uh-oh. To, to, complete, to participate in the musical, you need the dry gauge to be five or more. Let's say you perform part of your world again. Ugh. Well, since we still got a little bit of time, might as well. Might as well give Lark Cena a shot. 
I mean, well, I barely managed to beat Zexion, so, uh, who knows? Maybe I'll actually do decently. <laughs> Alright, that was close. I mean, that was easy. Alright, let's give it a shot. Okay, that was just, uh... Okay, that was just a boo-boo. Well, how was I supposed to know that walking into a lightning storm was a horrible, horrible idea? Okay, never mind. She is way too OP for me right now. Whew. Alright, well, I gave it a shot, so, uh... That was the best I could do. Yeah, next time, we're gonna take on the Bright Lands. So, until next time, folks, this is David on David's Brain. See you next time.